everybody. Today I'm going to do a real short demonstration on the Villet Autostop Razor. There's been some talk that there are certain types of uh, Villet Razors, I think it's type 2, and I'm not certain, it could be a type 3, a version 3. It's one of the later versions, a little bit older, or a little bit younger. I always get those two flipped around when I'm talking on video. I say older when I really mean younger. We talk and a regular valet blade, a vintage valet blade that says valet on it. It allows you to use the version one, which this is. And then the version two, three, and four with this. But version two has a little bitty post right here that doesn't allow the feather blades. And if you can see in this feather blade, there is up here two little posts on what looks like. No, it's over here. No? Yeah, it's over here on on this one. It's got two posts up and down. Well, the top post, well, I already took that one off. The top post, I took a pair of pliers and just kind of bent it and snapped it off. You got to be careful, though. On this blade, well, where's that? I got too many razors here. On this one, if you'll look and see, uh, it snapped a little bit too much off. It kind of did a little semicircular kind of thing there, but it's still workable. Now, this is the feather carbon blade, and I don't particularly like them, but if you'll notice, this is the front end of the belay. You want the little tab pushed all the way up. Flip it back this way. Here's my strop. You want to secure it. Put that into the very bottom. Insert that in. You get, you've got two little connectors there where you can wrap your finger around. You want to hold it taut but not too tight. And you just run it back and forth. So I'm going to do a shave video later and just compare all these different types. And I may put this video inside that, but I'm going to compare these three blades. I've stropped every one of them. And you just do that. I think the instructions on the Valet Razor say you need to do this five cycles. Well, I've done a lot more than five cycles. I've probably done maybe 40 on each one of these blades. But that's all you do. You just have to be careful at the turning point. You want to make sure that the razor catches and flips over. Otherwise, you're going to cut your strop in two. And when I was first trying it, I don't know where it's at. Right up here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little cut that goes right to there. I just took some leather glue and I glued it, and it's fixed. Just make sure you don't cut it all the way through. And there's a few scuff marks where I, I didn't catch it, but if you're just slow and easy, and uh, this strop was in pretty bad shape, I had to use some Gorilla Glue and glue this piece onto it where it connected because it was coming off. But And I don't really think this strop was used that much because it's pretty tight on all on both all of these razors. But as I've been using it, it's loosened up a little bit. But that's all it takes. 
I'll do it with the classic one here. I've got about a half a dozen of these vintage Valet blades. You see, the version one, I, I think when they originally did these strops, they had a, a specific strop for each type of razor. It's a little bit easier on version one, which is what I got. This is what the strop I got with the version one. So it's a little bit easier. I had to polish this blade a little bit, even though it was in its original package. Sealed up both of the the outer and the inner package was done, but you know it had some gunk on it. And uh, I've tried using this volley blade straight out of the package, and it was a little rough. It wasn't too bad though. It wasn't as bad as what I experienced with the carbon blade. But it wasn't quite as sharp as with the the uh, stainless steel feather blade. But that's how you do it. Very easy. Kind of fun. But that's a little demonstration on stropping a valet blade and modifying a feather modern blade to fit the, I believe it's type 2 relay razor that has the extra little post right here on the E that doesn't allow you to use the feather blades unmodified. Talk to you later. Hello everybody. Well today I'm going to do a shave comparing three different razor blades. The Valet Auto Strop Razor. This is a Valet version 2 I believe and in it I'm going to use a feather carbon blade that has been modified by snipping off the little post right here. Let's hope that you can see that. I pried that off with a pair of needle nose pliers. I don't particularly care for the carbon blades just by themselves, but I have stropped these blades. And I want to see how that works in that razor. In this razor, with the bronze handle. I'm going to use the classic Valet blade which I have stropped, the vintage one. And then in the all silver I'm going to use a stainless steel Valet blade that has also been stropped. We'll see how they go. I'm going to prepare my face with some grapefruit corn huskers. A new batch that I just made up. I've just gotten out of the shower, as you can see. I've got my robe on. And you know, the, after trying, courtesy of John Kingsford, a sample of George F. Trumper skin food. I like corn huskers a lot more. It's thicker. It seems to work as a pre-shave much better. And the corn huskers, even whenever I get some irritation and I need to do something to calm my face down, it even works better than tr Trumper skin food. For cream, I'm going to use Kiss My Face, Pomegranate, and Grapefruit. Now, before, I, I never did really think of using Kiss My Face other than just add it to something else. But I've been using it here recently. 
all on its own. Put that much on the brush. Just a few little squirts. My brush, 28 millimeter, pure badger. A little bit of water on the face. And a lot of people will say, kiss my face doesn't create a, a rich enough, thick enough lather to stand on its own. It's designed to either be a brushless or with a brush. Okay, now just putting it on with a brush like this. Granted, a lot of creams would lather up thickly. But this, you've got to add some water. Put some water in my brush. And loosen it up a little bit. And it's not going to give a super, super rich, frothy lather like a lot of creams and a lot of soaps. A little bit more water. But you know what? It performs wonderfully. It's very, very slick and protecting. And if you like a lather that sticks to your face, has a thick consistency, you can see it makes pretty good leather. I really haven't tried using it with a bowl and I've tried it in the past. It's been a long time and uh, I didn't really like the results so that's why I kind of stopped. Okay, carbon blade first. It's, I'm going to have a hard time keeping track of where all these things are at. I'm going to show you one side of my face with carbon blade that has been stropped. Well, I went past one side, didn't I? both sides. Okay, carbon blade that way on both sides. This is the classic blade, be the middle that way. Immediately I can tell, I don't know if it's cutting a whole lot, but it's smoother. I suspect these classic vintage Valet blades aren't that sharp. At least this one's not. No, it's not that sharp. So, verdict, carbon blade much sharper. Vintage blade it hardly did anything at all. So, the verdict's out, but it's got two strikes already on this one. Vintage Blade has lost its keenness. Now, the test will be between the carbon feather blade and stainless steel. And again, I forgot which razor I got. Okay, this is the carbon. Gold is carbon. Across the grain.
I stropped all the blades, although I think the stainless steel blade stropping is not going to do a whole lot to it. But I stropped them all just in case my stropping techniques actually dull the cotton picking things instead of sharpening them. So equally dull all of them. That vintage blade didn't do much. It was smooth because it was sliding over the whiskers. This pomegranate grapefruit has got a really, really nice smell. I think a lot of guys say of all of the kiss my face scents in their shave creams it's pomegranate is the most pleasant against the grain carbon that has been stropped. Right, that's not bad. Okay. After three passes, not bad. It's still in the middle where we did the ballet on the first pass. There's still a lot of whiskers, but it's not bad. So because I'm I'm going out with the family to an auction this evening. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. And I'm going to use the carbon. Verdict on the carbon blade. If you strop them, in my opinion, they're much smoother. And carbon blades just don't agree with me normally. So my box of carbon blades aren't going to go unused. but smooth I'm sure not quite there but it's off close oh I think I'm there's somewhere out here I'm gonna insert a video dealing with 
and I may put it very at the very beginning, dealing with stropping. If you notice, this is after I've put the Clubman wax in brown. The, the video I did on applying it was very, very dark. But this I just put a tiny, tiny bit, just barely get some on the, the brush, put it in, blend it in, and it just tones down the grade just a little bit. By the end of the week, it wears down, I apply it again. Now, for aftershaves, I'm going to go with one of my citrus creations. This one was basically my lemon menthol, and I think I, I used the base of uh, Florida water, but I added, oh, a good, in, in this size of bottle, this is the Corn Huskers lotion bottle, I left about that much in the bottom of this bottle of corn huskers. So probably two good tablespoons maybe of corn huskers lotion I put in that. It feels real good. Feels real good. I'm not I haven't got the scent down on this yet. And that's the thing with my aftershaves is sometimes they work as far as the scent department goes, but they always feel good. But that's my video, that's my shave. Yeah, I think I'll put some Gillette lotion on top just to seal in the good menthol. So, until next time, be safe, be happy, good shaves, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye bye. I'm going to go to the next one.